guys, Riveted here. Welcome back to another episode of Cube World. Hope you guys are doing well, taking care. I'm doing pretty good. So, um, yeah, sorry about last week and uh, screwing up the schedule. I was off uh, just a few hours. So I made sure that I'm recording this in time this week. So, yeah, actually, last week was a nightmare for me across the board. Yep. I, uh, I I had uh, a rough week. Uh, I mentioned in the last one that I was going to be heading off to Chiang Mai. That uh, was my intention right after we were recording and I got everything done. And after, right after I got done recording and got everything uploaded, I started to feel like shit. Um, where are we headed? Yeah, we're headed over that way. Yeah, I started feeling crappy. Uh, just achy and like allergies were kicking in just nothing felt right and so I checked online to see you know if the, the allergy like the the pollen count or anything was to the roof and it was something else um, our air quality was in the toilet um, Bangkok was in a hazard level with smog and pollution and air quality um, from my understanding and again I'm brand new to you know dealing with this uh, the regular ratings, uh, when I was here earlier in the month was around 70, you know, moderate to okay. You know, they would drop down, uh, to green levels a lot of the time. So it was, it was, you know, manageable. I know I would see smog on the horizon and stuff every now and again, but it wasn't anything major. Um, the smog has gotten really bad. And so, um, it was having like a quality index of like 156, which is hazardous. Like, there is no ifs, ands, or buts. They say stay out, stay indoors. Uh, don't go outside if you don't have to. Mask if you go outside. And um, I don't exercise, don't do anything. So, um, I canceled my trip uh, Monday when I found out about it. Because I'm like, uh, part of my thing is I have a full backpack, 30 pounds worth of stuff, carrying it across the city. You know, a lot of commuting. I was looking at, you know, roughly four hours or, th or sorry, two hours of uh, commuting across the city. And I'm like, I just don't want to chance things because there's, um, I, oh, good, good God. I walk from here to the metro station. That's a half hour walk. So I was like, okay. So I, I, I scrapped it, which was, it was fine. I thought, you know, just wait a day or two, you know, and I'll be, it, it'll be fine. So it cleared out on Thursday. So I'm like, okay, you know, uh, a couple days late, we can still go, have fun. Uh, booked the hotel, went to go get on the bus. Um, they have like a beautiful VIP bus that, you know, travels overnight. You know, you wake up in the morning, you're in Chiang Mai, perfect. Apparently everybody thought it was a great idea because it was sold out, sold out for like a few days past that. And I was like, well, I can't go. You know, so I had to, uh, you know, cancel my hotel reservations and try to figure out what else to do. So I'm like, okay. Um, and then just, I've been trying to get videos made for my travel channel. Nothing. Can't. Um, I had everything organized and ready. I had stuff planned to do. And I hadn't planned anything to do in Bangkok. And with the air quality being what it was, or what it is, I just couldn't, couldn't, um get myself out so I have been uh, a bit of a homebody and which is fine you know I, I'm okay um, I'm uh, I have a day trip planned this week fingers crossed that I can get going for it uh, it's just a regular bus so it's not like a you know overnight bus or anything and it's like five bucks to get there it's a two-hour trip um, it's not a very touristy place, which was the other problem I had, is Chiang Mai is a very popular place for folks to go to. So both locals and tourists. So I'm like, mm-hmm. So uh, I have two places to go to. I'm going to uh, plan on one of those. And it's just going to be up for a day and then back. You know, So I'm really excited to do that kind of thing. And then next month, uh, sorry, not, not next month, in a few weeks, um, I'm heading up to Cambodia. So, um, when, when you come to Thailand, you have a monthly visa. Oh, great. That was delightful. Um, you get a, a visa on arrival when you get here, and then you can renew it. 
Um, and then you have to leave and come back in order to renew your visa. So they have a thing where you could actually, you know, take a bus, go to Cambodia for the day and back, you know. And a lot of folks do it. Um, but I'm thinking, it's like, well, I want to go to Cambodia. I want to see what Cambodia's like. You know, that's part of my, my plan. Um, so Siem Reap is, uh, I think it's eight hours away from here. Uh, so there's buses that run directly, uh, well, a bus that runs to the border and they help you cross and then you transfer to a different bus. So, the same company, but it, they, they service everything. So, and I'll be doing that at the end of the month. I think the 26th, I think, is when I've got that booked and planned. Um, so that was, that's going to be fun. Um, I'm also going to check out cost living in uh, Cambodia. Because if I can... Uh, one thing that I found out is uh, one of the perks, finally, of being uh, over 55 is that Cambodia has a over 55 visa. That if you pay, I think it was um, 300 bucks, uh, $300 US, then you can have a visa for the year, which would save me from having to renew it all the time. Uh, yeah, so I had to reset the day. So that kind of happened. We'll try this again. You gonna get a moves? Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna check into it. Um, if, if the cost of living and everything in, in Cambodia is good, you know, and I like it, then I may consider. Um, I'll, I'm gonna go up there for the month anyway. Oh, sorry, for uh, a week or two anyway. Um, and then I'll have my one month visa and if I decide that um, I can handle it better. And honestly, oh, son of a bitch. And one of the major deciding factors for me right now is the only reason I'm even looking at it is the air quality, not gonna lie. Um, being debilitated by pollution, personally, sucks. Um, I have bad allergies as it is. So having something uh, cause me physical harm again, um, you know, allergy attacks are not fun. I, I don't know anybody that thoroughly enjoys them. I, if you do, um, seek help, <laughs> um, you know, burning eyes, uh, watering, itchy, sneezing, coughing. It, it feels like having a cold without, um, a fever. And that's the only thing you got, you know, it's like, and it still sucks. So yeah, the only reason, like I said, I'm looking at Cambodia is because of the fact that they have a, um, a proper one year visa and, um, that would save me a lot of money in the long term as well uh, because if I could get a, a visa for one year and it's multiple entry um, so I can go and do stuff so if I wanted to go to Thailand or Vietnam or Malaysia I can I don't have to pay for the visa when I get back so it's you, one and done so kind of a nice perk so um, and my understanding is that uh, cost of living in Cambodia is reasonable so we'll see um, I've heard mixed. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, I think it just matters what your expectations and everything are. So I have zero expectations. Um, this guy's a jerk. How did I take these guys out last time? Was I uh, really good? Maybe I need to buff up a little more. Yeah. Am I just not ready? Well, it is purple. What are we at? Our armor level is, is garbage. Well, let's see what else we can do here. Well, there is that little lava thing. I mean, there's got to be other things we can do. Let's head over towards the lava. We can do that, right? I think that's where I marked it. Or did I? There we go. Um, so yeah, I'm actually excited to go to Siem Reap. Um, uh, I've been checking. The air quality has been a lot better than here. Um, the temperature is roughly the same. So a little bit cooler-ish. Uh, they tend to get uh, more of a cool uh, evening versus the, the date tends to be about the same. So that could be kind of neat. Um, you know, I'm... I'm here for the long haul to uh, enjoy, so I'm fine um, 
And the other thing too is, like I said, is if I get the one-year visa, then you know that allows me to not have to worry about. Uh, constantly having to renew and get that stuff and you know if I decide that I want to go and spend two months just living in Cambodia and not having to worry about the travel and all that other shit I can and honestly taking that kind of weight off my shoulders it's kind of nice now the I, the only downside my understanding for Cambodia like the, the major one that people complain about is electricity is a little bit more expensive there than it would be in other places um, so people do complain about the cost of electricity but people say if you know you don't run the electric all the time, you know if you are uh, you know good about not running air conditioning and all that kind of stuff, you should be fine. And I'm like, you know what? I've been kind of just working off of like a fan a lot of times, and then just at nighttime I'm having the AC on. But you know what? Is if the if the air you know if it drops down to reasonable levels during the uh, nighttime, then you know I don't need it at night. You know, I can go out during the day, you know, do my wandering around and come back home, take a nice shower and cool off and then, you know, sit in front of a fan. I don't see a downside, so we'll see. I, I'm assuming I've already been to this one, but I'm, I'm eyeballing it just in case because I thought I saw the marking on it and I was right. Okay, let's double check. Taint nothing here. But there is lava. Whee! I probably did this too. Because, you know, why wouldn't I just fly off of this and do the lava? Um, the other thing too I like about Cambodia is the archaeology. Uh, I'm a big fan of archaeology. So Angkor Wat is a place I've always wanted to see. So I'm really excited to go there. Uh, that apparently is pricey too. I think that's like 30 US for the day. But again, it's like a once in a lifetime kind of place to go to. So I'm like, mm hmm. Oh, I dig it. Um, okay. These guys are blue, right? Let's not play in the water, uh, lava. So, yeah, we'll see. I, I, we'll, we'll be there in a couple weeks anyway, and then I will judge things once I'm there. Um, you know, one of the perks about being here is like I can just, you know, uh, it's not expensive to to finalize my stuff here. You know, it's no big deal. So I'm not. Well, that was interesting. Okay, let's just drink some liquids. There we go. Knock that guy down. Um, so, uh, gaming-wise, I've been pretty good. I, I've been keeping myself busy playing games. Um, I picked up uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla a while ago, and I enjoyed it, but I hit a wall with it, and I just was not enjoying it anymore. Um, and I couldn't figure out what the reason was for it. You know, I didn't understand why I didn't like it. Um, I received Quest. Okay. Shoulder armor, you shit me. Hell yeah. Finally. Now we're blue, baby. That makes me feel good. Um, what was the quest that I got? Mana pump? Okay, did I... Maybe it's... Is it... Is it all these things. Quest. Oh, 50 terriers and get 500 goals. Really gold. Ah, that's not really all that important to me. Not at all. Not even close. Um, we can wander up this way and see if there is anything. I mean, why not, right? Is there? Okay, there we go. Um, I will have to get back into a village to uh, reset my... Uh, um, ooh, there we go. That's nice. I, I gotta do a village to get some more bottles and stuff. So yeah, anyway. Um, I played Assassin's Creed Valhalla 
and I, I, I dug it, but I think what it was is that it was just the grind on it, and I think it could have been because of the games that I was playing at the same time. It was just like, uh, no thanks. Um, so I, I, I finished off Assassin's Creed Mirage. Um, picked that up recently, and I've recorded that for the channel. Coming up in May, in June? Yeah, I'm, I'm that jerk. Um, I'm recording in advance. Shoot me. Um, can't help myself. Um, so, um, I, I, I was like, the characters that were in Mirage, I was like, you know, I kind of dug them. I'm like, I, you know, I wanted to know more about them and found out that they were associated with Valhalla. I was like, oh, okay. So Bassam was in Valhalla. I'm like, okay, that'd be kind of cool. I'm going to go and check out Valhalla again. So I reinstalled it and just re-rolled the character right from the start. Um, not even trying to um, like figure out what my last save was because I'm like, no, there's no way that this is going to be... I'm going to be able to remember how I played the game because the controls are similar, but they're not quite the same, right? So, so I just started from scratch and I'm about 18, 20 hours into it and I'm about half the time into it as I was before and I'm further along in the story. So uh, I'm doing something right. Oh God, why? Come on, I just need to stay closer. Okay, there, can we just hop on? There we go. Um, and I'm digging it. And the funny thing is, is that the characters that I was curious about uh, Bassam especially is a jerk. Like I don't like him at all in Valhalla. Like he's just creeping me right out. And justifiably so. He's not a great guy. But in uh, Mirage, it's the prequel to this one, right? So it's like you know the telling of how Bassam became who he is. And um, yeah, it's kind of interesting because things happen in um, in uh, Mirage that kind of makes for an interesting. It, it, it's a cool game. Let's put it that way. Um, don't know if we uncovered something, but whatever. I don't see shit. This is one giant island. Wow. We should probably do the whole thing. What do you guys think? Yeah, we've you know, got nothing but time. I wouldn't be saying that if I didn't have mods on. Not even close. Uh, but yeah, I've been in, I've been digging. I've been actually digging uh, Valhalla. Uh, and funny enough, too, is it... Okay, that's fucked. Um, it came up on the Game Pass as well. So, um, yeah, kind of nice. It's kind of funny because um, I, I get the humble choice every month. And I've been noticing a lot of the games that are in that. Like the main game is one that I picked up last year. <laughs> And played, and I'm like, dang it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna have to ease off on buying games and just let them either come to the Game Pass or come to uh, Joyce and, you know. I'll get the odd game, right? So, like, I got the, um, what was it? There was another one that was on sale. Forspoken? I think that's the one that people just hate. Um, and so I installed it. I haven't played it yet. I'm just going to finish Valhalla, I'm like... And uh, here's the thing. Uh, Forspoken was uh, $99 Canadian. Yeah, let's let that one sink in. 99 bucks. Um, Epic had it on sale. I think it was like 60% off and they had their coupon. I got the damn thing for like 20 bucks and change. So I was like, for 20 bucks? I don't care how bad the game is, I'm going to give it a shot. I mean, it has to have something redeemable in it. And apparently, you know, there are some things that uh, people dug about it, but there's like a whole bunch of stuff that people just hate. And I like a game that is so divisive that it makes people just like full on rage. So, but again, who knows if it's made better? I, I mean, I've, I've bought a bunch of shitty games in my day. Uh, so I would say this is one of them, uh, <laughs> which is fine. I'm not one of those people. I'm still digging it. Uh, Armor Time has been talking about wanting to uh, get back into playing some Cube World too. So if you follow Armor, um, get ready. He's actually been recording again. It makes me very happy. He's been uh, doing some Rim World, so it's been nice for me to have somebody to watch that I like. You know, I've always, 
I always dug Armor's content before we became friends, so um, that's how we met. We met. I watched him on YouTube, and then I was like, I want to, I want to, I want to hang out and record with this guy, and so that's how we met. Um, and uh, yeah, man, one of those bravery moments where I'm like, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to send an email to a person I've never met and say, Hey, I'm a fan. Would you like to record something? <laughs> Ah, uh, damn, the old days of YouTube. Now it just, it just, you know, we our friends that we collab with, and I'm not even caring about any other stuff. Uh, uh, remember when I first started out, I was like, oh, I'm gonna make, you know, I'm gonna be doing YouTube, and like I was all excited and stoked, and and I guess I still am to a certain degree, but yeah, it's just like it. Once you've been able to figure out a lot of the basics of how this thing works, it's not, you know, it's, it's fun. Like, I I do. I love making content. I love playing games and stuff. And, you know, I'm so happy that I've been able to do what I've done. But, um, yeah, some of that, uh, that, that shininess of the whole, it was a new thing for me, right? So, you know, I, I, I think that's with anything, right? Once you get familiar with it, it starts. Okay. I'm feeling something on my arm. It's little fucking ants. They drive me nuts here. And they're just little tiny, tiny little ants. And they're everywhere. They drive me nuts. I gotta get some ant traps. They weren't here. Oh, you guys are shepherds. They weren't here for the longest time, and then they just started appearing. So I'm like, ah, why? Well, I mean, when I got the apartment, my ooh, don't fuck with collies. Uh, my landlord just painted it, and everything was set. So. And I don't, I don't really have garbage or anything here. I mean, there's nothing to really worry about. Wait, am I fucked up again? My god. Yeah, I'm right off the deep end. What are you, orc? Oh, that was a great idea. Well, we did it. Not like it was a major big deal. Mm. I want to see if we can find some... Oh, coming back. Um, yeah, the, the beds in Thailand are weird. Um, I, I dig them, but I know some people wouldn't. Um, they're hard. They're firm as hell. Um, and... I, I think it's like a, the good and the bad. Um, so it's like you know, a good firm bed is is can be a great thing, but um, a bed that's too hard for some folks can just ache you. Um, and I kind of sit between that some days. Some days I sleep really well. Some days I sleep like crap. Oh, that didn't go well. Yeah, that went really poorly. Couldn't dodge. I tried to do the whole when I landed. It didn't work. Why? Why are we not? We're right on the edge. On the cusp. Everything's back. Okay. Man, I felt... I, I don't know why I do this all the time. I get near the edge and I just fall apart. Uh... That's a thing. That's a thing. We got things. I'm kind of tempted to go and do that next episode. Ooh, that's a thing. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. How far are we from that? We're here. I can get to here. We should be able to do that. If we if we boogie. We can get there. Let me just double check, make sure I'm going the right direction. Took a power. Okay. I'll go there. Okay. Let's do it moves. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, the beds are really hard, really firm. And some days I sleep like a baby. Other days I sleep like crap. Last night, I slept like crap. So I woke up with a bit of a backache, and 
Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I haven't recovered. I just, I, I fell apart this last week, man. I'm not going to lie. This whole smog and just, I just, I don't know. Like, it's so frustrating because, you know, I'm, I, I've been a content creator now for almost a decade. So, you know, I understand the ins and outs of, you know, motivation and, and you know, giving yourself a timeline and all that kind of stuff, you know, and trying to push yourself. I've, I've been doing that for a long time. Um, vlogs are a different thing than gaming because I can just, you know, go, oh, okay, sit down, play a game, boom, video out, right? And I can, you know, try to be entertaining and do that. I'm, I'm cool with that. Vlogging. I have to get up, go outside, make sure that I look halfway presentable. <laughs> it's just like... And then try to find what I'm going to be motivated for. Because I don't have a game to distract me. I'm just being me. So. Shoot. Let me leave. What the hell? Man, that was one of the jerks. Really, like, nasty jerks. Of course, they're all following me. Why wouldn't they? Oh good, they're going back. Thank God. Let's see what this is. Moves. Let's do it. So yeah, um, with this whole trip to... to uh, wow, can't even think of the, the words. Um, uh, yeah. The whole trip up north falling apart and just everything and just like oh I I just didn't know what to do with myself like I I honestly have been a basket of crap this week uh but between not feeling good ooh that's kind of a nice thing to have yeah between okay just stop uh between not feeling good from the, the you know the allergy attacks and the breathing and everything cuz that's annoying um, but yeah, just a whole bunch of shit. Just my my brain, like you know, like I didn't have the things I wanted to do planned, and I couldn't do anything. And I'm like, and I, I can't motivate myself to do anything else. I'm like, wow, you you just you you fell apart hard, man. Okay, let's see if this is the one. No. I thought I left a marker. Because there was that one spot that I wanted to double check. Oh, that's annoying. Not there. Look at the place. Oh, I knew we had a spot where that was going to come in handy, and I know it's going to give us something amazing. You know what? We'll figure it out in our next episode. Oh, I want to go there. That's a place I want to mark. And that's a place I want to mark. Oh, uh, we can... Yeah. We can go and do those. And then we can come over here and do that. Yeah, that should be fun. That'll be our next episode. Yeah, there you go. Something to look forward to. Anyway, I <clears throat> hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you all very soon in our next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is a song for